What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we'll be switching things up by playing some survivor rank as explorer. So with this team composition of prisoner, priestess, gravekeeper going against the bonbon. Bon. So I do what every explorer does at the beginning, start to look for a page and all that stuff, being in shrunk mode. And the tram comes here and hits me like it owns the place. This is Ever Sleeping Town, so this happens. Alright, and so when I go down again, I realize that Bonbon bon is within my book radius. So over here, Gravekeeper also got spotted as well. So he found me, of course, and I got chipped. And he did not see me until I guess he saw my chip. And so he immediately switches targets to me. And so I did a very, very terrible pilot smack here. And so I'm pretty sure he's going to commit to me because I am a decoder. And Psych for Rush is really intense if you have an explorer and a prisoner on the team. So I'm just going to be abusing corner house as much as possible. And you guys are going to see that I'm going to be shrinking as much as possible because when I shrink, I actually get to know the direction of the hunter and so now I see the red light on top so I shrink again and I realize that he just dropped down from that area so now what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to maintain my distance as much as possible and now that I see him at my tail I quickly vault the pallet get the speed boost and run back up second story and now I'm just trying to use the book to locate his direction, when I should drop, when I should not, and I'm just basically kiting him without him knowing that I am around the area. So basically, I am always one step ahead away from him and to the point where he teleported and gave up on me. So now he switched targets to the prisoner and now it gives me time to look for my pages and start popping ciphers three ciphers are now remaining and prisoner is now going on chair and that was a solid two cipher kite from me and as you can see back there prisoner cipher was also almost popped so now the cipher is already popped actually and now he has one to order on me and what i'm doing right now is just i'm dodging the bombs and priestess came in with the rescue so now it's looking like a very good situation for us and all i have to do is look for a page pop the ciphers and we are good to go prisoner has to last priestess has to support with the portals and they actually tried to go into the portals but i don't know how bonbon bon only hit the portal and not either the priestess or prisoner so now that bonbon bon got his down after last effort it's looking like a tie situation because now there are not enough cypher machines to pop and everyone has at least a chip damage and me with only 0.25 health left and i did manage to pop a cypher here with my pages and priestess and the gravekeeper are trying to manage these cyphers a gravekeeper came in with the rescue, trying to body block for the prisoner. Now, prisoner did an amazing shock here. And wow, that was a really nice prediction bomb on the bonbon. Bon. And so, right now they're just trying to finish up the cipher. As you can see, it's close to being primed. As long as I have a page, which I will be getting. And priestess unfortunately got terror shocked so it's looking like anyone's game right now with wanted order on the prisoner it's actually looking like it's turning into the hunter's favor so now prisoner is trapped in graveyard and there's pretty much nothing he could do there is no forward to stun so he will be seeing his third time on chair and flying back so while Bonbon bon is busy chairing the prisoner, Gravekeeper did rescue the priestess. And now, being a Bonbon bon main, knowing that he didn't bring the tension, I just popped the cipher with my page. 
and now he looks confused honestly and sure enough he did not bring detention so priestess just has to kite and last as long as possible and me and the gravekeeper we have to just leave through the other exit gate and now priestess did get down so it the bonbon can secure a tie as long as he is not greedy so he doesn't have teleport and he should have just camped this chair because priestess has the second time on chair and i'm opening this gate and now bonbon bon is gonna be greedy right now so Gravekeeper used this chance to actually rescue the Priestess, which is really nice on his part. And now Bonbon bon just blew his chance of getting a tie. And well, he's gonna surrender. And that is it for the gameplay. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.